Hello. Welcome to In the Garden. I'm Nicola. Mark. 2024. It is. This is our first episode of 2024. So welcome back. Hope you had a great break. We did. But now we have lots to do. We kind of broke the mower, uh, mm -hmm. but it's been fixed. So you'll see some footage later on of what happened. Uh, uh, I got it back. So we're about to go and get it off the car trailer. We did grab some footage of the storms. We had a couple of big storms over the Christmas break. So um, you yeah. got lots of wood to chop up, so he's got to go and get his chainsaw out. A little bit of wood about. Um, babies, animals, garden, all of the above. We have a hen that we're watching. We think she may have bumblefoot. We've got to make a few decisions around that because... The, her feet are actually quite bad, so mm, she doesn't look the best. we need to decide what we have to do there. Um, we are in the process of talking about uh, upgrading our hens, so oh, that's probably oh, better. there you go. Uh, we might get some Australops this year, so we'll just wait and see. We might put them down in the incubator. Mm -hmm. I found someone who's got a supply at the moment, uh, but I'm not going to get them until probably midweek or order them until midweek, so... Yeah. I'm trying to think what else. Well, welcome to a new year and uh, we'll keep going with the mowing. And we'll see you. So it's the 30th of December and the first of them, what well, looks to be like a couple of storms has gone through. We actually have trees and limbs down. Mark's actually gone down to the shed to find the chainsaw. We've got one down and I'll put up a photo for you after, but... I don't know. I don't think I can increase that any further. Down there, Nathan is standing next to a tree that's gone through the fence. So they're going to have to go and cut it uh, to get it off the fence line. And then we can just make sure that Daisy will be safe. Nothing can get in and that she can't get out. Um, it's a pain, but it's just one of those things. So thankfully, we have the ability to fix it. Okay. That rumble was another big loud lightning bursty thing uh, there's Nathan down there in the very far distance away hang on uh, down there and Mark's on his way down to him with the chainsaw Okay, we had uh, storms over the Christmas break and a cracker of one was today 30th of December and we've had this old dead tree blow down and he's hit the fence but um it was a good old um good old strong blow uh, a lot of branches down a lot of trees down um and since probably i'm not sure try and think the last time we took a picture of the back paddock but she's greened up uh this is daisy's paddock and it's looking pretty good uh next doors is pretty overgrown so hopefully it won't dry out uh, but yeah, no plenty of feed there. Daisy's sharing the top paddock with our next door neighbour. They very kindly let her in. And uh, yeah, just about to move this old tree. Okay, it's just on sunset. I'm not sure if you can see him so good. Uh, old kangaroo come into the yard. There's a couple others in the back paddock with Daisy. Um, but yeah, it's just, there he goes. Look at the size of him. Isn't he gorgeous? Just been chewing over their grass, chilling, you know, just doing the kangaroo thing and just generally having a good time. And up, up we go. Going back catch up with the mob. So a lot of these trees are traditionally known as widow makers uh, because they've got big limbs like that. Um, yeah, there is a piece hooked up there in the small one. Uh, we're actually quite lucky there was some more came down off that but I would imagine that'll probably be the next limb uh, or that one. So anyway. I may have had a spot of bother. Uh, my big mower is sitting down there 
and I caught one of the hoses uh, in its gears, so she no go. She's gonna have to go back and have some work done uh, to get it ready to use again. So I'm a little bit cross with myself, but I have at least done um, this main zone here, uh, up the front and the verge. The only bit I can't get in the verge is where the water runs. Uh, Mark has to come in with the push mower or the whipper snipper for that. We've also pulled the tree that came down in the veggie patch down and it was actually a reasonably sized limb. So hmm. we know that there's at least another limb uh, down here. The screen has been damaged. We don't know if it's irreparable. There is actually quite a lot of wood down. Uh, we're gonna have to go around and do a limb clean up. So uh, the joys of summer in Queensland, but that's okay. We can get around it. There's no permanent damage. Um, as I said, uh, we fixed the fence this afternoon. You would have seen Mark and Nathan with the chainsaw. Uh, we just need to go around and see what else has come down. Now we um, haven't mowed up here. We had a bit of trouble with the ride-on mower last weekend. It hit a hose that was um, we hadn't seen and the grass had got that long. So it had wrapped the hose up around the base of the, the uh, mowing deck. And with the heat, I think it's partly melted. We got it over on its side. I got a lot of it out, but there was a couple of pieces just jammed in there that I couldn't. So we're going into Ollie's in town. Big shout out to Ollie's mowers where we bought it. Uh, they're pulling the deck off and they're busy as you could imagine this time of year uh, with grass just growing behind you. So I used the push mower this morning and did uh, the front curb, which is a big job, uh, just all around the house down by Daisy and the Chooks. So uh, we're good. And why uh, mowing and uh, What's the link with this picture of the fruit trees? Actually watering for the first time in ages. Uh, I've got the hose up to, uh, the grey water hose up to the bananas, had it on the pineapple. Uh, but they're our two ducks. Nicola and I have a little bit of a difference of thought about the duckies, but uh, they've moved in. Actually, I'm kind of hoping they nest here. Nick's not as keen on that as a concept because of the dogs. But anyway, I don't think um, there's nothing that we can't get around with them. And they just do their ducky thing and waddle around the place and just have a grand old time. They hurt no one, but anyway, um, they're just so cute. Uh, and uh, they've got a safe home here for as long as they want to be here. And they've been here now as long as we have. So um, I'm guessing they were here before us, actually. But yeah, no, they're just... Two ducks doing their ducky things in a ducky world. Well, isn't this a surprise? Just sitting on the washing. Hello, gorgeous. How are you? Just walked right past him to the fridge before and he, um, very chatty. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, the colour sun's a bit out, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Up close and personal with someone very pretty. Who's pretty? Hey, are you pretty? Really? No, I'm not going to touch. Have you been eating in the bird feeder? I think you might be. Yeah. I think you might be. Yes, you're very pretty. Yes. Just don't uh, mess on my washing. Yeah. Yeah, don't mess on my washing. That's a peg. It's not for food. Pegs are friends, not food. Yeah, no, they're very chatty too. Well, it's been a little while since Christmas and uh, we're into January now and the geraniums have certainly come along uh, out on the front. The um, white agapanthers are almost finished flowering. Uh, the old tree there is a weed. I've got to uh, get some woody weed and cut him back and the other fellas, that's the only two that shot back. Um, but yeah, you can see the geraniums. We've got a huge amount of weeds in the yard from the uh, rain. Purple, that's the only purple agapanthus we've got this year that's flowered. The rest of them are actually looking not too bad, but it's been a funny year. We've not had a lot of flowers. Um, I'll come over my rock pile, I've still got a shift. 
the first gladdies out and that's taken we're a little bit behind where we we're going where we were last year um, these are lemon he's gorgeous uh, good growth that one's one we've trimmed back he's come back got to finish putting the rocks around the succulents but they're all going really well they've got to be weeded and, and rocked um, that's the junipers oops my shadow in the picture which is not good um, so yeah so he's there we'll go over here roses are a tale of two cities as you get oh, look at all them so you've got that fella he's pretty and you got the whites and the pink there at the end of there later this one's bridal pink he's gorgeous that was a white one he's finished off too uh, this fella is the um, Papa Meliandin, Papa Meliandin, and uh, he's just about to flower. The Peter Brock is sort of up and down. Uh, we've got this little lemon one over here, and you probably can't see them from here. But my two coffees, I've got two coffees still alive, which has been a fair achievement. This is the bush rose, another red one. He's just had another flush, as you can see, and he needs to be deadheaded. Yeah, this one. We've got suckers coming out everywhere in the main bush and he has cactus. I don't know that we're going to retrieve him. Uh, there's another little red one. Um, yeah, so sort of been a funny year. The hippies, head over to them. <laughs> Some flowers growing along there, so they're going not too bad. Actually, as silly as the towns could do with a shower of rain. Just been madly mowing at uh, the bush mower. Um, yeah, the hippies are all going really well now. They're all bush, but no flowers. Well, limited flowers. We had a couple in the in the year just past. Look, there's another little one there. He's oh, I'm not sure if you can see him popping. Very dark. Oh, yeah, there he is. Um, so yeah, so they're certainly happy and spreading. So I'm just wondering. They're putting all their energy into the bulbs, hopefully this year, and next year flowers. Okay, you're looking at our uh, cherry guava, and um, these, we pulled a couple off of them already. Uh, these ones are just absolutely, oh look at that, they're falling off. Uh, we've had a pretty good run without any chemical with fruit fly. The thing that amazes me is that they haven't been stung to bits. Anyway, um, they are absolutely yummy for anyone who likes guava. And um, he's uh, done a good, good haul this year. He she it. Um, yeah, so this one is a. <gasps> oh dear, dropping everything everywhere. A uh, very amateur photographer. Um, Oh, there he is. Yeah, so that's that's the um, you can see the fruits is doing exactly what the picture said, and so it's a guava cherry guava. So um, yeah, very cool, and he's very shrubby. We put that support around him because he carries a fair bit of weight when he fruits. Um, but anyway, he is growing well. All right, we've got cucumbers. Zucchini? Yep. Uh, button squash. The guavas that I took the picture of before. That one. What happened to my squash. apples? I don't know. What happened to your apples? And silver beet. But guess my what? There are, are no apples here. And why, why are there would no there... apples here? I don't know. Why are there no apples here? Well, we think that the birds got into them. <laughs> well, possibly. There was after the big storm. There was the storm. absolutely no sign of them. It could have been the storm. Uh huh. Blew them off the bush. And maybe you're being nice. And maybe, but anyway, we got yummy silver beet and for no dinner apples. tonight. Well, you don't normally roast apples for the roast. Well, you can if you want. You could if you want, but you don't normally. This is um, oh about a third of the way through January, and there's Miss Daisy, and look at that belly. 
Hey, Jean, if you watch, you can actually see movement in there. So really, really hopeful that all is going well. She's looking really good. Hello, darling. Hello, sweetie. And she comes very happily. Uh, she gets her grain and her protein pellets here. And I gave her some uh, hay. It's been a little while because as you can see, we have lots of grass for her to eat. So she's a very happy daisy. Um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's looking really good. So going to have a bit of work to do. Hopefully we're picking up the mower, if not tomorrow, then Saturday. We'll give the, give the yard a mow. But, um, hey, darling. So, yeah, so I thought I'd give you an update on how she's going. She is getting quite big in the belly region, as you can see. Um, looking great. All right, we're just um, sawing up one of the branches that came down, and he was a big one. Nicholas just hooking up with the uh, lawnmower under the little trailer. The trailer we got when we got the mower from Ollie's, and uh, it's really handy because for this sort of stuff, save lugging it about, and we can um, cut it down to the wood pole. So, yeah, there's a lot of leaf in there, but there's also a lot of really good wood. So, we'll let it dry out because a lot of it's green and uh, we'll use her in the winter. Okay, we're down with the chookies, we've just fed them. Um, there's our big old rooster. He's a bit of a, he's in retirement I think at the minute, but anyway, that's a different story. We got this lady in isolation. She's got looking very rough. So we put Condi's crystals into her water, uh, worm her a bit, uh, we've given her our own feed. And I don't think you'll be able to see her too easily, but her little feet are all swollen and gone all cysty and um, we've checked it for mites and we can't find any mites but we're just wondering Nicola looked up on Dr Google did your friend and Bumblefoot so we're not sure but anyway we're gonna keep her in isolation for a couple of days in her own little pen and uh, she can and she's hiding in there she's very unimpressed by the whole circumstance and uh, we'll see how she goes and if she responds to anyway we'll worm her and uh, give her her own feed so she doesn't have to compete and um, give her a bit of rest and relaxation okay some more flower power uh, a couple more of Nicola's lilies have um, come through and from the last time that we took some photos uh, they've more come up the black ones are very bushy at the front but he hasn't flowered it hasn't flowered yet um, these ones have come and gone they're all running at a different pace this year coming up the poor old bird bath needs a good um, clean after all the dry weather and hot weather again. Rain and hot weather. Um, but yeah, so we've got yeah various different colours and hoping the black one comes out. If we take a wander over here, we've got... Uh, we had a couple of lemon gladdies, another lemon there, and we've got uh, two purples, uh, which is very cool. On some flat, we planted some and grass needs to be mowed here. Uh, we planted some sunflowers here, and then when we came out, the ground was all dug up. So I suspect the birds got into our seeds. Um, and this is uh, occupations of having a very happy and active bird population. Uh, this one, though, is going like a champion, so he's hoping. And the rosemary, they're all around the rosemary, which is pretty cool. And this year, with the baby gladdies. I planted them all uh, in a little pot so I didn't lose them. So they were the last year's little pups, if, if that's the right term for the little gladdies, and which has worked a treat. So hopefully they're just sitting there developing their bulb. You can see the glorious gladdy flowers. They are such a pretty plant. Well, nice little surprise for the afternoon. Our first sunflower has come out. We've got uh, a couple others that are coming along. These are in a different bed to the one um, 
I showed with the gladdies and the lilies earlier on. There's a couple there, a feral gladdy that came up from last year. Uh, I've just watered, so they're all looking a bit dry and sad because they hadn't had a drink all day. And the weather's actually turned quite hot and dry again after all that beautiful rain. But anyway, our first sunflower. Alright, it's a lovely Sunday morning and uh, we've got the ute out of the shed. So she doesn't get too many trips out in recent months. So we're going to go uh, out to Milana Gardens today. It's a little local... Um, Oh, I'm just trying to think how best to describe it. It's a little bit of everything. It's just a lovely little spot. And uh, we're going to go for a drive and have a look out there and get her out and about and get her on the road. So just because she's been in the shed for so long again, um, just hosed all the dust and the um, a lot of pollen. We got a lot of the gum trees and pollen, so a lot of, a lot of pollen, and even inside the shed, settles on her. Um, so yeah, so she gets to go for a bit of a run today. Hello. As always, we're late again. It's here. It's actually Hello. Monday... It's Monday night. Yeah, I haven't actually got the late. video ready yet, so I've still got to do that tonight. Um, but Any anyway, time. so says he. Yeah. He doesn't do the editing. I get uh, all the I editing. Did all the filming this month. You didn't do all the filming because I've got some too. Not so, a lot. May not be. Compared but you mine. said you did it all, and then did. you didn't. As anyway, as, <laughs> as we're saying, yeah, as you'll see, we've had a busy actually, period of time. Um, we've got a little Probably bit from. We have a little bit from Christmas. We got good rain. Uh, there's bits and pieces happening in the garden. It's getting really dry again, which is a bit of a problem for us. But anyway, why? We're not even in broom because there's good rain in broom. <sighs> And though it's good light. Okay. And good rain. Anyway, and he's talking rubbish, so I'm going to keep going. Um, as always, if you found something useful in this episode, please remember to uh, to like, to share, to subscribe, to share it with other people that you know. And sorry if this is bouncing around. I'm holding on my hand. Um, oh, I'm just trying to think what else. It's just been a really long period of time. There's Plenty been of so much happening. Uh, yeah, lots lots of, of flowers. And lots of really great news uh, with um, Charlotte and Nathan's engagement. Uh, yes, we had the broken lawnmower. It's been fixed. I've got three quarters of the yard done. Um, Mark acting the goat as always. Daisy's yeah. getting nice and fat. The dogs and the cats are happy. We've had a really lovely Christmas and a wonderful new year. We're looking forward to 2024 with you. Have you got any closing sensible remarks? No, since I get in trouble. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, at least he's cute. Mm. All right, we'll see you again in a fortnight's time. Bye from us. Bye.